Hello and welcome to some more Battlefront 3 uh, beta. Uh, I'm going to do a bit of a gameplay commentary just to s tell you what the uh, game is like and how I think it is. Uh, so without further ado, let's uh, get started. So uh, the game is uh, really good at the moment, the better. They've done a really good job of it. I love the game, it's amazing. It just brings back old memories of Battlefront 2, you know, doing the uh, the uh, big huge battles on, uh, you know, Hoth and all the rest of the maps, or planets should I say. So it was really good. So they've done a really good job with the graphics because obviously it uses the Frostbite engine that Battlefield uses, so it looks really, really good. And it works basically the same so as a uh, battlefield really. Everything's similar. You can also go in third person as well, uh, if you press the uh, hold down the uh, D-pad you can go in third person as well. Which is always really good, you can do first or third, depending on which you prefer. Everything's pretty much balanced in the game I suppose. Some of the, uh, you know, when you're on the turret's a bit powerful. But apart from that, mm, everything's really balanced in that. Uh, the the sound design is amazing, probably one of the best sound designs ever. I mean, everything sounds so realistic and true to the films, if you've seen them, probably have. So yeah, uh, the explosions are, are, are amazing, especially the uh, thermal impulse explosion bomb things, whatever they are. They, they, they just sound absolutely amazing. Uh, when you go inside a little bit in this map, it you know, like echoes and everything. You can hear your characters speaking and everything. That's really good as well, but the blasters sound probably the, probably the best in the year. Uh, the tie fighters and all them that are flying around, you can hear them all, you know, fighting in the air, which is cool. Uh, and yeah, you can also there's a lot of vehicles that you can go in. So uh, like the uh, ATSTs, the AT ATs, you can actually go in them. You can use the turrets, don't actually really move them about. The uh, TIE Fighters, the, the Interceptors, Y-Wings, you know, Air-Wings as well. There you can go in all them as well and dogfight in there if you want to. Oh well, you can pick up the uh, little collectible things which is kind of neat. Some of them you can't, they, 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 they're easier to control than the jets and that from Battlefield I'd say. But sometimes you can underestimate and then sometimes you crash because I've done that a few times. But yeah, they're not, not too bad. They're pretty good. So overall, this bit is really good. I wish that there was a few more things unlocked. There's not that many things. There's only this map uh, drops on, and then I think one mission you can do by yourself, or you can do split screen if you want to do, which is cool. But I just wish there was a bit more unlocked. Like I wish you could customize your characters, which you can't do that either. That would have been cool to have a look how that works. Uh, some of the cards are pretty good. You get obviously the grenades. <laughs> Is this sniper thing that I'm using right there? That's powerful. If, if they're far away, you you can only get one shot to the head unless they're injured, which most of the time they are because you just sort of shooting. <coughs> but it is really good. Uh, you get the jump pack as well, which I've actually unlocked now. So yeah, that that was awesome. The jump pack is amazing. You get you can travel a lot faster than after that. So yeah, that's uh, the, my uh, sort of impression to the better. I just could tell you what I'm up to now, so I'm at uni at the moment, so I'm probably going to get a lot of work soon. So my uploading might be a bit, you know, not scheduled really. Might just be here and there. I'll try and upload as many videos as I can. Uh, but yeah, I'm doing a software development programming and stuff like that, so C++, you know, Java and uh, things like that. Kind of hard at the moment because I haven't done it for that long. I haven't done it for like four weeks. Some people are across it for like three years. Uh, I haven't done it for like four weeks, even though I did a software course before this, we didn't do any C++ or anything like that. Which is kind of annoying because a lot of people already know what they're doing and it's just like, I have no idea. Well, I know some bits now, so it's not too bad. So yeah, if it's inconsistent uploads, that's probably why, because I'm trying to do a lot of work as well. So, yeah. Uh, that's about it really. So, uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and uh, subscribe if you want to see more gameplay commentaries or just videos in general and I will be doing some more unboxings in the future I hope because uh, I'm getting an iPhone 6s for my birthday I think so I'll probably do an unboxing at that at some point but that won't be till next February I think so I'll be around there by the time I do the next one so yeah if you want to see more of them as well subscribe 
uh, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. See you there. Don't walk.
must be activated in order to stop a Y-Wing attack.